Hi, today we are going to look at the second type of catching up under speed. If you have not looked up or if you have not watched the video for the first type of catching up, uh, you may have to watch it to fully appreciate what we are going to see in this video. Let's dive into the problem straight away. Ben starts at 8.30 a.m. Ben starts at 8.30 a.m. running at a speed of 60 meters per minute. So, Ben is starting and the start time is 8.30 a.m. And Sheila starts at 8.40 a.m which is actually 10 minutes after 8.30 a.m. So now let's see what happens within this 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, now the time is 8.40 a.m. Ben would have run some distance. What do you think is the distance Ben would have run? 60 meters per minute. That is what is shown here. In one minute, he runs 60 meters. So in 10 minutes, he would have run 60 times 10, 600 meters. Now, Sheila is starting at 8.40 a.m. And she runs at a speed of 80 meters per minute. Now, what we see here is the catch-up distance is 600 meters. And what is the difference in speed between Ben and Sheila? The difference in speed is 80 meters per minute minus 60 meters per minute, which gives us 20 meters per minute. Now we know the catch-up distance and the difference in speed. So the time taken for Sheila to catch up with Ben would be given by 600, which is the catch-up distance, divided by 20, which is the difference in speed, and that is equal to 30 minutes. So Sheila would take 30 minutes to catch up with Ben. This is a variation of the problem that we saw earlier. In the problem that we saw earlier, both of them start at the same time. So in the previous case, Ben had a head start, meaning he was ahead of Sheila while they started to run. That was the previous case and the distance between Sheila and Ben was taken as the catch-up distance. In this case, Ben starts running first. So by the time 10 minutes is elapsed, Ben would be 600 meters away. So the catch-up distance in this case becomes 600 meters.